Exmilo Cell T is an investigational patient specific cell therapy in development at Astrum Biosciences for the treatment of severe chronic cardiovascular diseases. It is derived from a patient's own bone marrow, which is collected by a physician and then processed at Astrum. This short video explains this process and summarizes the latest clinical study of Exmilo Cell T in patients with critical limb ischemia. When a patient's bone marrow sample is shipped to Astrum in Ann Arbor, Michigan, a laboratory team is waiting to immediately begin the 12-day process of producing Exmilo Cell T at the company's state-of-the-art laboratories. Upon arrival, the bone marrow sample is carefully inspected to make sure all information is accurate and that the package has not been damaged. The sample is then transferred to a separate room for more detailed analysis and testing to confirm its quality. Here, the sample is given a unique barcode that syncs to Astrum computers so that Astrum scientists can track the sample. When these tests and inspections are complete, the sample is transferred to Astrum's advanced laboratory where it is inserted into a cell separation machine. This machine removes red blood cells which are not needed to produce Xmilo cell T. The remaining bone marrow cells, known as mononuclear cells, are placed in a small single-use disposable cassette for culturing. Each patient's bone marrow sample is processed in an individual single-use cassette. Starting with the patient's own bone marrow cells, these cassettes facilitate the continual feeding of nutrients to the cells so they can multiply, producing millions of new cells. Each cassette is placed in a robotic cell processor. Next, the cassette is placed into a specially designed incubator where it will remain for 12 days as the new cells are produced. In the incubator, each cassette is carefully and automatically monitored for temperature, oxygen levels, and other factors important for cell growth. After 12 days, the cassette is removed from the incubator, the nutrients are removed, and the cells are transferred to a harvest bag, which goes through a centrifuge to concentrate the cells and reduce the liquid volume. The cell product is then transferred to a final product bag, and a storage solution is added. It is centrifuged one more time to reduce the volume to approximately 11 milliliters. This product, Xmilo Cell T, is then carefully analyzed in a series of final quality control tests and given a label. The product is packaged in a shipping container to control temperature and storage conditions while in transit. Then it is shipped by FedEx to the treatment center. When Xmilo Cell T is received by the treatment center, it is inspected to ensure that all labeling is accurate and that the product and packaging have not been compromised in any way. The Xmilo Cell T is loaded into regular syringes at the treatment center and then administered by injection to the patient by a physician. Astrum is currently evaluating the efficacy and safety of Xmilo Cell T in the treatment of patients with critical limb ischemia who have no other treatment options. The company is conducting a phase three clinical trial known as the REVIVE study at approximately 80 medical centers in the United States under a protocol approved by the FDA. The primary objective of this Phase three study is to assess the effect of treatment with Xmilo Cell T on amputation-free survival after one year. The study will assess the risk of major amputation of the treated leg or all-cause mortality in subjects treated with Xmilo Cell T versus a placebo. You can read more about this study on the internet by visiting the Astrum website or www.revivecli.com.